Hello everyone, Denise here. Today I'm going to give you a walkthrough of how I made my caddy. So I started with these boxes from Dollar Tree. Uh, they do have different cutouts on um, the different boxes. Some are flowers, some are hearts. Does not matter. Uh, just pick up however many that you need or want and then decide how you want to arrange them. Uh, this is not how I had mine arranged, but I did take a picture in case this is what I thought I might want. In total, I used 14 boxes, I believe, and all of my boxes on the outside faced out so that they could be drawers. The very middle box that you see there, I had upside down so that I could have a canister on, on that middle part on the top. And then the rest of the ones surrounding that that you can see are open right now. I had them open on the second level. And then the inner portion of those uh, little units I had on top of the other ones. So these are the drawer pulls that I got from Amazon. You got 40 for 15 bucks and they're still selling them. I'll link them in the description box. Then I painted all of my boxes inside and out. And then I decided I didn't like the color and changed it to darker. I used dollars, uh, Dollar Tree brown. And then when I made it darker, I mixed it with black. And uh, I, I was using what I had on hand. I didn't purchase this. I already had this in my supplies. Once everything was dry, I sprayed it with some uh, clear finish uh, acrylic spray so that it would seal. If you choose not to paint your boxes and you use a stain that has a sealer in it, then you don't have to do this step at all. These wooden foxes I picked up at Dollar Tree. I used wood filler to fill the holes on, on their head, but you could use um, you could use the drywall patch stuff that they sell at Dollar Tree as well. I painted my foxes with a mixture of red, brown, and a smidge of black, a little bit of orange, and mix that all together to make this color. I just was using what I had on hand. To finish the fox, I lightly brushed black around the edges. And you can see here how I have three drawers on either side and then one drawer on each end, and that is as many drawers that I could have with nine containers. And then the rest, uh, like I said before, I did one upside down in the center. I put one, two, three, four. I put five of the main part of the containers um, through the middle like a plus sign. And then the extras that went inside of the container. I did not have the flowers showing. I turned them in um, because I didn't want them showing. I don't know why. I just didn't. <laughs> I thought it was too much with the foxes. So... Uh, you can choose whatever you want to do and leave leave your decorations outward as well. I glued everything together with hot glue, a hot glue gun. Um, it, 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 it was very adhesive, a very strong bond when I put them together. Just make sure you're quick. If you want yours to spin like mine, you will need a Lazy Susan hardware. They have large and small at Hobby Lobby. I will link them also and you will need two pieces of wood, uh, very flat wood, and you can pick these up at Dollar Tree. They do have them at Hobby Lobby. They have them at Michael's, Joanne, uh, and here's just a couple of options if you need to. I also glued all of this and did not use the screws that came with a container. I actually used two hearts that I picked up from Michael's while I was there, and the reason you need these is because you need to sandwich the Lazy Susan in between two pieces of wood and then glue that to the bottom of your unit so that it will spin for you. And once I was done with uh, making the Lazy Susan part on the bottom, I also put felt on the very bottom so it wouldn't scratch any surface I put it on. And again, I did not use the screws. I used hot glue for my entire project. You can use E6000 glue if you don't feel good about hot glue. I measured my unit before I had my Lazy Susan so I knew what size to buy and it measured roughly 10 by 10 ish. And here's a close up of one of the foxes. 
Thank you so much for your interest in this project. I, um, I appreciate it. Um, I wish I had done more as far as pictures or video. I didn't think anyone would be interested, but um, <laughs> next time I will be sure to do so if I do a project like this. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I appreciate it, and until next time, bye.